Welcome to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with Rebecca Hall Greider. In our program each week, we provide the tools, ideas, and encouragement to help you move ahead on your journey, becoming a more powerful and impactful woman in your own life. Now here's your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. Welcome, everybody. I'm so excited to have you joining us at the beginning of the year. What a wonderful way to start the year connecting in with all of you. Today, we're going to be focusing in on how do we start our year powerfully, on purpose, and with great purpose. I believe the beginning of the year is such a special time for us to be able to stop, pause, celebrate the beginning of the year, look forward with great anticipation and excitement, but also with purpose and a plan. (laughs) We want to really help support you in living on purpose and with great purpose. And it's such a great opportunity, the beginning of the year, to come together and look at those things. We have amazing experts joining us today that will be giving you ideas, suggestions, tips, powerful information to support you in a whole mind, body, soul, and spirit way to start your year on purpose and with great purpose. So welcome, welcome. Thrilled to have you all joining us today. I know you're going to enjoy our dynamic guests and all that they're bringing to the table. But let's start our conversation with all of you. Let's take a moment to stop, pause, and connect in. Let's take a breath together. Beautiful. That felt good. Let's take one more. Breathing in through the nose. Stretching up. Out through the mouth like through a straw. Bringing us very present. And what's beautiful about this type of breathing is it helps us become centered, present, brings oxygen to the cells in our body, which helps us be more alert be able to receive information powerfully. It lowers our stress levels, our cortisol levels, and we can do all of that three breaths, just that pause in time. And part of the reason I want to start with breath is I want to remind all of us that you are here on purpose and for a great purpose. And it's such a sacred opportunity that we have to connect in together with each other and begin the year in that way. And so I want to invite you to be fully present. Take that moment to stop, pause, and breathe. Really tune in because it's not an accident that you dialed in today or that you're listening online today. There is a reason that you're here. That means there is something here for you. And I want you to receive everything that is available to you. Everything that we're able to bring to you, I want you to be able to receive. So let's breathe that in. Breathe that support and excitement about the beginning of the year. Wonderful. Those of you who are driving, please stay safe. Keep both hands on the wheel, eyes open, but inwardly tuning in and fully ready to receive. Those of you are able to, I invite you to put one hand on your heart, one hand on your head, taking that deep breath in again, out through the mouth like through a straw. Wonderful. Close your eyes. You're absolutely safe. And I want you to think about as we look at starting the year on purpose and with great purpose, when you're looking ahead at this full, beautiful year that we get to step into, that we're going to bring forward those things that matter most to us, what is it that you need? What is it that will encourage you, that will empower and support you? What is it that you need to approach this year and be in it on purpose and move forward with great purpose? Just see what that information is. What is it you need and are willing to receive because you have choice. (laughs) So sometimes we want things, but we're not always willing to receive them. So I invite us to add that. What is it that you need and are willing to receive, unattached to how it may come. In fact, leaning in with excitement, maybe being surprised at how that need is met. 
So what is it that you need and are willing to receive? Wonderful. Receive that information. Come back into the room fully present. Let's take a breath. Eyes open. Wonderful. Then go ahead and write down exactly what it is that you need and are willing to receive. It's so easy to forget, to get distracted, to move on to the next shiny thing. And I want to invite you instead to keep it top of mind, to be actively on the lookout with excitement and anticipation to receive exactly what it is that you need in beautiful, wonderful ways. But part of that is being diligent. Part of that is keeping it top of mind so you don't miss it when it comes. And we're hoping today in our conversation, we're going to be able to bring something forth to support you in those very needs, to empower you to live on purpose and with great purpose in this year and all the years going forward. So let's breathe that in as we connect heart to heart. Beautiful. And we're going to go around our room. I want you to get the opportunity to hear some of who we have joining us today, heart to heart, when they took a moment to pause and listen, what was laid upon their heart. So Rosie, I would love for you to start. What was laid on your heart when we took a moment to stop, pause, and listen? Thank you. Thank you, Rebecca. What is clear to me to share at this point is the, the, the beauty of simplicity. Mm. And I, I find that as I dedicate myself more and more to my practices, keeping things simple is sustainable. It's not a program that I have to quit. And my gratitude for keeping things simple is really what I want to share at this moment. Beautiful. And I love how that feels, too, that we can make things simple <laughs> and bring simplicity into our life. Beautiful. Thank you. How about you, Sunday? What was laid on your heart? Well, I love what Rosie just shared, and what was on my heart was just the fact of being still. Mm -hmm. I have a tendency to be busy, to figure out, to look, 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 but the importance of stopping, like you said, breathing, pausing, and being still, to really hear that purpose on the inside. Mm, Beautiful. Let's breathe that in, that that simplicity, that stillness, of that that's enough to be still so we can listen and hear and receive. Wonderful. I think for me, I'm excited about the coming year. I always have this burst of energy and anticipation, so I, I feel some of that when I stop paused. But that reminder to be purposeful to start each day being still and listening. And I love what you shared, Rosie, because sometimes I can make things more complicated than they need to be. So that wasn't what was originally laid on my heart, but I want to add that in (laughs) to being (laughs) mindful of remembering to ask that question. How can I simplify this? Um, You know, how can I do it in an easier fashion? You know, bringing that element in because I can, I can make things more complicated than they need to be. So beautiful shares. Thank you both. (laughs) Listeners, what was laid on your heart when you took a moment to stop, pause, and listen? Looking ahead at 2019 and beyond and all that is coming, what you need and what's being spoken into your heart and spirit. As we get ready to go to our first commercial break here, I want to encourage you to use these two minutes. There are two minutes in a really special way. What we can sometimes do is we try to run off and like cross things off the to-do list and then we get distracted and we lose track of time. When I invite you to instead, while those beautiful commercials are playing in the background with information updates we want you to have access to, use those two minutes to have the opportunity to stop, pause, and listen to really process what's being spoken into your heart and spirit. Give yourself the opportunity to integrate that into your heart and spirit real time while we're in conversation today. That way, by the end of the show, it's not all these things being added to your to-do list. You've actually had an opportunity to integrate, have them be part of you, and let us support you as you go back out in the world. So use these two minutes powerfully just for you. We'll look forward to talking to you in just a moment. 
Want to improve your health, business, and life just by listening to a radio show? Well, we can at least move you in the right direction. Listen for Spotlight, the Allison H. Larson Show. Each week, Allison will speak with amazing guests and find out what's changed their lives and how they are changing the lives of others. From beauty to health to business and personal relationships, we're here to inspire you to live your life of passion. Listen every Tuesday at 10 a.m. Pacific Time, 1 p.m. Eastern on the Voice America Influencers Channel. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. It's time to unlock some of the best kept secrets in health, wealth, and happiness. Are you ready to live your life to the fullest and hear insider tips from today's experts? Then tune in to The Forbes Factor with celebrity TV host and inspirational icon, Forbes Riley. She's a best-selling author and TV fitness expert, and you know her from QVC and HSN. Now she brings her expert advice and guests to the Voice America Influencers Channel. Tune in live every Wednesday at 12 noon Pacific Time and 3 p.m. Eastern Time for The Forbes Factor. We guarantee Guaranteed, it will be the best hour of your week. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-472-5795. That's 1-866-472-5795. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes and took the opportunity to really stop, pause, breathe, and listen to what is being spoken into your heart and spirit. I find those pauses actually help me be more mindful, more focused when I'm making decisions. And in fact, that stopping and pausing helps me move forward faster and more effectively because I'm on purpose with how I'm using my time, energy, and resources. So I encourage you throughout the show, take advantage of those two minutes at a time to listen, process, and integrate. Welcome back. We've been talking about how to start your year on purpose and with great purpose. And you got to hear from a heart level two of our amazing guests that are joining us today. And I wanted to have a one-on-one conversation with each of them so that we could lean into supporting you in a really high level. So let me introduce one of our guests. I want you to know a little bit more about their background. You can always read the details on our site. But Sunday Burquest is known as Grit Girl. She has developed amazing grit (laughs) in being able to move forward powerfully in life. She's overcome a cancer diagnosis from 2012, and that led her to living one of her lifelong dreams, like stepping into that, and competed in the Emmy Award-winning reality TV show Survivor, which I know many of you are familiar with, and it was in the Millennials versus Gen X. She survived for 35 days on that island, again, tapping into the grit that she has learned and given her so much strength and courage. She has 26 years in ministry. She is an author and absolutely passionate about inspiring and encouraging others to be encouraged, to be inspired, to discover hope and step into their grit. (laughs) Please lean in and warmly welcome the amazing Sunday Burquest to the show. Welcome. (laughs) Wow, are you talking about me? Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) You're welcome. Excited to have you joining us. (laughs) Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. Thrilled to have you, and I would love for you to share a little bit about why it's become so important to you to lift up others, to encourage them, to help them discover the grit. Why is that work personally so important to you? Well, for me, I know all the hard things I've been through, and I know I'm not the only one. 
So being able to share with people how I tapped into strength that I believe God put on the inside of all of us helps me just basically relive the goodness of what he did to help me get through. None of us escape setbacks. None of us escape hard situations. And I just feel like sometimes people feel hopeless. And I want them to know that no matter how hard a situation looks, God's right there, but they can get through it. Not only get through it, but on the other side of it, use that negative situation for something positive and use it to help somebody else. Because Mm. I really believe what God does is always dual purpose. He does it for me, but he does it so I can turn around and help the next person get through it. Thank you for sharing. I think this is so powerful because sometimes in the, especially in the midst of a storm, you know, we can lose that perspective. Sometimes we can feel alone and what a beautiful encouragement to know. Not only can we get support in that, but we also can reach back and support and help another. And we're almost uh, specially equipped because of going through that Mm -hmm. storm. Would, Would you agree? I completely agree. I feel like there's a level of empathy and compassion that comes to you after going through a difficult storm that maybe as much as you like to think you're compassionate, going through something hard yourself really helps you identify, I believe, with the next person, even if their storm is completely different. Mm, I feel like it gives you kind of a heart check, like I thought I was compassionate, but am I really giving and extending grace to that person that's in a really dark place right now? Or am I expecting them to snap out of it? Mm. And I admit, I, I used to think a little bit like that. Come on, just get over it. Get on with life until difficult things hit my life. And I realized, wow, that really wasn't the level of compassion I've been walking in. So on that level, it's helped me just come alongside Mm -hmm. people that are going through something hard and saying, you know what? It's going to be okay. Yes. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing. And I think that's true. That's a really good opportunity for us to look at ourselves, to grow our compassion and grace that we can extend others. And One of the things we've been focused on and talking about today is purpose and being on purpose and starting the year on purpose. And I know for you, God plays a huge role in defining your purpose. And I'd love for you to expand on that a little bit. And what role does God play in defining your purpose? Well, for me, I used to get real um, almost annoyed with the beginning of the year kind of make your goals, set your plan, (laughs) find your purpose, whole thing. And I used to think, you know what? I never stick to it, so just forget it. I'm not going to do any of it. Mm. But then when I realized it's more than writing down on a piece of paper my goals, it's about, like we talked about earlier, that stillness Mm -hmm. and really checking in and taking time. For me, that's to take time to listen to the Lord, because I believe He directs my purpose. My yes. issue is that I want to do all the talking and none of the listening. So <laughs> I purpose to be still and really hear where does He want to take me? Because inevitably my plans fail. Mm. So it's important for me to check in, listen, be still, and get His direction. And then I can trust him to help me make it happen. And it isn't all about the Sunday show, making it all happen and getting it all done. It's about putting my trust in him. Beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing. And it's hard to listen if we're not still and we're talking. (laughs) Absolutely. I, you know, just some really practical tips when we're, we're looking at purpose and we're being still, there's that listening part. There's that um, really hearing and then taking the action, but listening first. So I think that's really great, great. Uh, tip and important to remember <laughs> as, as we're looking at doing that. Now, 
do you mind sharing just a little bit what is your purpose as you look forward at the year? Do you mind sharing a little bit of what you have discovered? And with that, I'm curious if there are multi-level purposes. Are they different for um, the professional side of your life and the family side of your life and the health side? Are these different purposes? Do they all come together? I'd love to know how that works for you. Well, normally, if I'm really going to focus on my purpose, what I do is I sit down and I brain dump. I write every single thing down I do, every hat I wear, every job I do, wife, mom, daughter, sibling, work, all of it. And then I try to prioritize those things. And what I normally see is a thread that goes through them. Mm -hmm. For me, my purpose is to walk in the grit that I believe that God's given me and share it with others. And I think although it looks different in the different areas of my life, it threads through every area because it takes grit to be a good wife (laughs) and to be a good mom. It Mm -hmm. takes grit to keep working when you want to give up and keep putting yourself out there. It takes grit to be still and to listen. And so I find that that grit carries itself through it's kind of my what but the how may take a little bit different form if it's my family professionally and in different areas beautiful and I just feel like you described such a great process for us to look at especially if we're looking at stepping into our purpose because this may be a new concept or new thought for some of our listeners or it's something that we practice on a regular basis it's always great to have um, some suggestions some ways that we can do that and so what I heard you sharing is this this brain dump where you just kind of get everything out (laughs) and all the different Role, and I like how you name different roles that you have and different hats that you wear and different things you're looking to accomplish and all the things you're doing, like all of that. You put it down mm-hmm. where you can look at it and you can see it. You get it out of you so you can see it. And then you look for that common thread. And I'm thinking with all of that whoosh kind of dumped <laughs> and all of that information, <laughs> is do you have a suggestion of if our listeners were to look at doing something like that in their life as they were looking the beginning of the year, they wanted to um, apply some of this practice that you shared, do you have some suggestions? Because that might feel a little bit overwhelming, um, mm-hmm. all of that information at once. I'm just curious if you have some tips that you might give in looking at all of that. Well, I'll go back, first of all, to one of the beginning words at the beginning of the show, which was simplicity. Mm -hmm. And like most women, I overcomplicate things. So literally writing on a piece of paper, it doesn't have to be fancy. You don't need 18 colors of pens and 50 kinds of stickers. (laughs) Just write down what you do. Then categorize those things. How many of those fit in your family circle? You know, maybe make a circle. How many of those things fit in your work circle? How many of those things fit in your recreational circle? Then once you have your circles, then you can start looking at what are my biggest priorities? In my family circle, of course, my husband and my children and my immediate family are going to be my priorities. And in each area, I make priorities. And the way that I look at it is they're rocks. I only have so much space. If say I'm a vase, I only have so much space for rocks. I need to put my big rocks in first because they're high priority. And then the little rocks will fit along the side. Mm-hmm. And once I start eliminating the priorities, sometimes you're left with the things that you go, you know what? That one's at the bottom of my priority list. Maybe it's time to get rid of that one. And nice. basically a process of elimination until you've centered on your most important things that that lead to your purpose. Beautiful. Thank you for walking us through that because I also feel like as as you're talking about each step that it gives us clarity because sometimes we mm-hmm. give everything the same weight and we forget to prioritize <laughs> and yes. it can be sometimes <laughs> difficult to then remove things but we can't, if the container is only so big, we can't keep adding, adding, adding. So I love <laughs> without taking <laughs> stuff out. So I love yes. how you're giving us direction on which things to add in first. <laughs> and fill <laughs> around and that gives uh-huh. us really great clarity so I so appreciate you 
joining us today, sharing your insight and wisdom as Grit Girl and empowering us around how to step into our purpose, get some clarity around that in really practical and profound ways so that we can move forward on purpose this year and next year and beyond. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I needed to hear all of it myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's the perfect time of year. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. Well, listeners, we're getting ready to go into our next commercial break. Remember, those are two minutes just for you. I'm going to encourage you as you do that, just to kind of stop for a moment. Maybe take a moment to process and integrate what Sunday has shared. Maybe make a list of some things that are kind of coming to your mind and spirit of what some of those big rocks might be that when you do get an opportunity to sit down you know some of those big rocks you want to make sure are working into your life and working to your plan so that you can be on purpose and move forward with great purpose we'll look forward to talking to you in just two minutes The Voice America Live Events Channel is here now to showcase your corporate, individual, or organization's live event. Visit voiceamerica.com forward slash live events to see all of our past live events and find out more. Whether it's a multi-day conference, special speaker, or single day event, we've got everything to make your event a success. We can do a few hours or a few days. For more information about taking your event to the next level, call Jeff Spinard at 480 294 6417 or email info at voiceamerica.com again that's jeff spinard at 480-294-6417 or send us an email to info at voiceamerica.com voice america is where you are and where you want to be join us around the globe as we broadcast live from some of the most interesting events available don't forget to view all our live events including on-demand access to past events that you may have missed by visiting voiceamerica.com forward slash live events Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or a comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1 866 472 5795. That's 1 866 472 5795. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes and got some clarity on some of those big things, those core things that you're wanting to bring forward in your life in 2019 and 2020 and beyond. Oh, excited to have you joining us as we're talking about starting the year on purpose and with great purpose. And we have another amazing guest that I'm excited to introduce you. And part of the reason I thought this was the perfect time of year to have her join us and share is I find one of those big containers, one of those core things that many people put on the beginning of of the year list is something having to do with their health or their vitality or their body. There's something they're eating. There's something in that realm, in that space that they're wanting to move forward in some way. And so Rosie is just a specialist in this. And so I'm really excited to introduce her to you and tap into her amazing wisdom and expertise. So Rosie Bank is a certified integrative nutrition health coach. She is the founder of the Vitality Club, an author, a podcast host, and she's absolutely passionate about helping people know their health matters. She's been helping people since the mid-1970s. So this has been a long-term passion, skill, and expertise. She's been helping them step into their health 
and vitality. Please lean in and warmly welcome the powerful and amazing Rosie Pink to the show. Welcome. Thanks, Rebecca. That was well of you. <laughs> You are welcome. I'm thrilled to have you joining us. It's the perfect time of year. It's probably good every time of the year to be looking at our health, to be looking at our vitality. But I find there's this, sometimes a special focus in the beginning of the year. So I'm thrilled and excited you were able to join us um, for the show today. So welcome, welcome. Thank you, Rebecca. Absolutely. And I'd love for you to share a little bit about why. I always like to start with that question. Why does this area of helping people in this way, why does this personally matter to you so much? Why is it so important to you? Well, Rebecca, I am one of those helping professionals who had a devastating personal history. And like Sunday, I overcame a gigantic life-threatening challenge in my life. And The difference that it made inspired me to lead others from what they might think is the impossible to the probable, to the likely. And on a really good day, like with one of my clients this morning, standing firm that this is transformational work for people to embrace embodiment and nurture their bodies because they only get one shot. They can't trade their bodies in like a car. I feel privileged and challenged to take on this role, and I feel honored and humbled to work with high-achieving people who need to bring their bodies along with them to live the life of influence to which they aspire. So it's a it's a fabulous role, and something I take I take it seriously. I'm gonna have a good time doing it, but I I realize the imperativeness for some people to get on the same page as their bodies support them and all of their life's goals and dreams. I I love this. And something I've heard you say many times in different ways was um, really coming to, and you just said it again, how it's bringing the body with us, not a separate thing, (laughs) and that taking care of our bodies so they can support us in all that we're looking to do and bring forward. And I think that's really powerful. Do you want to expand on that a little bit? Well, Because I've been practicing, as you mentioned, I've been doing this Mm -hmm. since the mid-60s. I have many decades of practice under my belt, and I can't think of a time where having my body feel good and centered and nourished and balanced and hydrated and resting doesn't count, Rebecca. Mm -hmm. I can think of them, for all of us, if we think of the most challenging, important times in our lives where we want to be on stage or make a difference or help a client or land a big deal. The only thing I can think of is that we need to be well-rested, well-hydrated and breathing and centered and having our tissues be alive with energy. That's, that's where I've come to after doing this work for such a long time. I can't separate our vitality with wanting to be the way we want to be in our lives, the people who we want to serve, love and connect with. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for sharing a little bit more of that and how they are connected powerfully. They're not separate. They have to be connected and they are. And and I would love for you to share a little bit about the new year. I, I mentioned as we were coming back from break, how there can be this special focus um, on our health, on our vitality um, at this time of year. And how would you say that the new year is an opportunity for us to get organized with our health and body-based goals? Well, I recommend that our listeners consider these new habits and practices are aligned with their reasons. I'm saying reasons in bold, underline, italics. Mm -hmm. Reasons for making adjustments. So the emphasis is on the reason. And we've all heard about the why is more important than the how. And I think that if we really take the time to identify our reasons, that might help us avoid getting distracted from these new practices. And right alongside of that is that these new habits, that they're, they're sustainable. Yes. So let's use two exa- simple examples, this idea to move more and to move the junk aside and eat more nutrient-dense food. To consider these are lifestyle adjustments, not New Year's resolutions. And the lifestyle adjustments have a place in our calendar not just January and February and hopefully March, but for an indefinite period of time. 
Yeah, and I love how you were able to say those two things in a simple way because one of those things I know that was laid on your heart in the beginning was that simplicity and um, keeping things simple and being in that, that tied to sustainable. And if we're looking at these lifetime shifts and adjustments, do you mind sharing those main those two things that you mentioned again? Yes, to consider that we're not setting New Year's goals but we're Mm -hmm. consciously and carefully selecting lifestyle adjustments. It's great great to start in January, but the mindset is I'm making lifestyle adjustments. And the second one was to have clear and compelling reasons for doing so. Exactly, exactly. And then there were two, I love that, and there were two um, things that you said, and I I wanted to phrase them correctly. One of them was um, about you know, moving the junk aside and having room for more nutritious based food. You said it a little bit differently, but I thought that felt um, easy and simple and a great thing to kind of work into the daily practice of life. (laughs) Are we doing those things? Is this for you for getting the answer to my question that you wanted, Rebecca? (laughs) (laughs) No, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. (laughs) <laughs> but I just felt like, well, both actually were good examples of that because sometimes we just make things more complicated than they need to be um, instead of really coming down to the core and checking in on these things on a daily basis, our reasons, as you talked about, and our goals that we're looking to have in our life. And it isn't just magically at the beginning of the year, but these are ongoing things that we can bring into our life. And with all of that that we're looking at, are there common struggles and frustrations that you see sometimes your clients have as they're looking at making some of these shifts? Yes. As recently as this morning, a darling client who will remain nameless, she and I talked about planning. Mm-hmm. And she's, her issues are challenging, but they're common. She said that her, her day runs away with itself. And what we worked on was inserting self-soothing, self-nourishing, honoring her feelings, and basically, Rebecca, to be really blunt about it, mm-hmm. owning her time to move her body and provide nourishment. She mm-hmm. actually is, she does what a lot of people do, which she gives her time away to others, which it turns out, I'm not going to go too bio, you know, biochemical on you, but it turns out that giving our time away to other people is a measurable stress indicator. That's another whole conversation, by the way. And so this particular woman who is desperately in need of nourishment and rest, we spent the whole session today talking about identifying her needs and taking ownership of them and how she can respond to other people and serve other people but without draining her own tank. And I think that's, that's as common as anything else that I can share with you today. Really? Powerful. I was like, oh, there's so many things that we could we could dig into in that. Really, really powerful. But making sure that we have those boundaries, that we are taking care of ourselves because we can't keep serving from a, a depleted place. And I love how you're taking ownership, that responsibility for that, not necessarily putting it in other people's hands, but really taking control of that ourselves. So um, beautiful things for us to be thinking about. Now, on the other side of this, what are some successful strategies that your clients have been able to implement that are looking to, if their goals are to eat better and possibly to lose weight, what are some of the successful strategies they've been able to implement? Well, let's say that everybody likes some things, the high-end version, whether it's a car or a mascara. It doesn't have to be expensive items. And I love teaching people that there are certain foods that don't meet their high standard. Let's say the weight, goal, weight loss goal is 30 pounds. And instead of, again, from this morning, instead of telling yourself that she can't have the sugary cereal, she can say, well, this food does not meet my standards for achieving my goals. She has a mm-hmm. goal to have a new size and shape of her body. You know, Rebecca, when I created the box line at Health Matters Coaching, A Health Matters Coaching is about falling in love with foods that are good for you. I didn't realize back then that that would be emblematic among the most powerful recurring things I see with the people who come to work for me, to fall in love with food that's good for them. That's, again, central to my, that's central, that's that's central to my core message with my clients. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. And I like this standard that we can have these higher standards for ourselves around food, nutrition, and alignment with our goals. I think it's so powerful for our health and our vitality, for the things that we are looking to bring forward and that ownership of it, that we can have those standards that we are holding things to and that we are taking ownership of our choices and what we're putting into our body and what we're um, saying yes and no to. And I know that you've created an amazing gift for our listeners, and I want to make sure we have an opportunity for you to share a little bit about that, and then I'll let our listeners know where they can access it. Oh, that's terrific. Thank you, Rebecca. I have sure. an online health I have an online health assessment that's a, it's a self-guided inquiry for our guests to our listeners today. And what I would like to do is work with anyone who I, who meets me through you and really go over it, really dig into it and find out where the greatest opportunities are for not only quick transformation apropos to our conversation of new year, but lasting, sustainable transformation. Pick the pick the things that are called high mileage adjustments and borrow from my experience and commitment to help people lay a plan, not just for January, February, but like I said, for an indefinite period of time, not New Year's goals, but lifestyle adjustments, which I believe we can extract from this self-guided health assessment that we can go through together. I'd love to do that with our listeners who resonate with that offer. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for making that um, rich gift, that valuable gift available to our listeners today to be able to tap into your wisdom, your knowledge, and your expertise in this area and get support all about where they're at and those high mileage adjustments. Thank you for making that generous gift available. Ditto. Thank you for the chance to do so, Rebecca. Absolutely. And listeners, we are getting ready to go to our next commercial break. And so I wanted to give you a couple of things that I'd love for you to focus in on during this break. So take a moment to stop, pause, breathe and integrate what is being spoken to your heart and spirit. And I'd love to let you know how to access this amazing gift that Rosie is making available to you. Oh, you can go to radio gifts with an S dot net. Again, that's radio gifts with an S dot net. Enter your name and email address so we can stay in touch. And then you scroll to today's date, which is January 3rd. And you will be able to see Rosie's beautiful picture and gift and put your name and email address so she can connect with you and send that information to you. Oh, I encourage you to lean into that, especially if you felt that pull and resonance with what she was sharing with all of us today. And I will let you know exactly where to access that again when we come back. But for those of you who that's on your heart to do during this two-minute break, this two-minute commercial break, I want to give you the opportunity to do that. So with that, enjoy these next two minutes, and we'll look forward to talking to you in just a moment. Want to improve your health, business, and life just by listening to a radio show? Well, we can at least move you in the right direction. Listen for Spotlight, the Allison H. Larson Show. Each week, Allison will speak with amazing guests and find out what's changed their lives and how they are changing the lives of others. From beauty to health to business and personal relationships, we're here to inspire you to live your life of passion. Listen every Tuesday at 10 a.m. Pacific Time, 1 p.m. Eastern on the Voice America Influencers Channel. Channel. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. It's time to unlock some of the best kept secrets in health, wealth, and happiness. Are you ready to live your life to the fullest and hear insider tips from today's experts? Then tune in to The Forbes Factor with celebrity TV host and inspirational icon, Forbes Riley. She's a best-selling author and TV fitness expert, and you know her from QVC and HSN. Now she brings her expert advice and guests to the Voice America Influencers Channel. Tune in live every Wednesday at 12 noon Pacific Time and 3 p.m. Eastern Time for The Forbes Factor. We guarantee 
guarantee it will be the best hour of your week. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-472-5795. That's 1-866-472-5795. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes that you took a moment to stop, pause, breathe, and integrate keys to being able to move forward in a purposeful manner, moving forward in those areas that matter most to you. I think it's so key that we remember to stop, pause, and check in (laughs) and make sure that alignment's there, that we're tapping into that wisdom, to that still quiet voice that is speaking into our heart and spirit, and we're making choices that align with that. Now, behind the scenes, I talked with our guests and I asked them if they would share something about 30 seconds that was on their heart, that as we look back on the show and we're looking at you going back out into the world, what is it that they have on their heart that they want to share with you? So they're going to be putting that together and sharing in just a moment. But I wanted to run through a couple of things with you before we tap into their amazing advice and wisdom. And that is to... Take some time to process. Look at where you can put in just a couple minutes a day, five minutes a day to stop, pause, and breathe. And look at, especially those days that go busy, those days that get crazy and feel like they're running you, that's when we need that pause the most. That's when we most need to stop, pause, focus, center, choose our priorities, in a clear manner and then move forward. And I find when we do that, that can clear away some of that busyness, some of that kind of running us energy and we're able to come back to center. So I wanna encourage you that as you go back out into the world, maybe take a moment or two to stop, pause, integrate because we've had this moment of stillness, this moment of connection and learning and feeding into each other and receiving, and I want you to have a beautiful transition <laughs> as you move back out into the world in a powerful way. So I want to encourage you to do that. Also, I want to let you know about some resources that are available to support you. One of them is our amazing gift library that you can find at Radio Gifts with an S, radiogifts.net. It's a net full of multiple gifts, and that's available to you. They're a library of resources. They are our gifts to you. I want you to have the same kind of access that I have to our amazing guests. I want you to be able to access them, experts and influencers and leaders, so that they can come alongside you and support you on your journey. So you're able to access that at radiogifts.net you put in your name and email address to stay in touch and then you can scroll down to today's date for Rosie's amazing gift and you can also peruse and look around and say yes to as many as of those gifts and resources as are supportive of you and you can actually click because we're at the beginning of the year 2019 You can click back on past years, too, and look at those libraries and say yes to as many things as will be supportive to you. Excuse me. So I want you to take a moment today and let support come in. Know that you have that resource. And then we also have a television network called the RHG TV Network that has multiple programs and audios and videos and television programs all their play on demand to help you live on purpose and with purpose we want to bring positive transformational programming into your life and so <clears throat> excuse me i want you to be able to lean into those resources know that they're available and that's part of our gift to you so we want to give you programming that can serve you in a positive way so radiogifts.net to get amazing gifts to support you on your journey and the rhg my initials tv network.com for powerful programming to walk beside you each and every day 
And those are our gifts to you. And with that, I want to thank you for being part of today. I'm going to go around the room, have our powerful guests share what's been laid on their heart as you get ready to go back out into the world. So Sunday, I'd love for you to share. My advice for women is this. Give yourself a gift. Take time for yourself to center, pause, be still, and get direction. Because in the long run, it's going to save you time and stress. Beautiful. Thank you. Rosie, what's on your heart? Rebecca, I want to say that the experience of embodiment is a privilege It's a joy, it's an honor to feel connected with taking care of ourselves and for people who don't know how to reach out and get help. Mm. Mm. Beautiful. We're supported. I love that. Thank you. Listeners, as you get ready to go back into the world, I encourage you to take to heart these beautiful reminders and pieces of advice that have been laid on our amazing guest's heart to support you on your journey. And what I want you to remember is that you each are beautifully and wonderfully made of high value and are absolutely needed for such a time as this. I want to encourage you to be willing to share the gift of who you are with others, be willing to do that, but in a way where you are supported first so that you are able to shine beautifully and powerfully in the world. So that wherever you go, whatever you do, I hope that you choose to bloom where you're planted, dig those roots in deep, and shine powerfully. I look forward to talking to you next week. Thank you for joining us this week for Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Please tune in again for another edition with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider, next Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Influencers Channel. And join us for a replay of the show every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, 2 p.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Empowerment Channel. Have a beautiful week, and may you always bloom where you're planted and shine. The Voice America Live Events Channel is here now to showcase your corporate, individual, or organization's live event. Visit voiceamerica.com forward slash live events to see all of our past live events and find out more. Whether it's a multi-day conference, special speaker, or single day event, we've got everything to make your event a success. We can do a few hours or a few days. For more information about taking your event to the next level, call Jeff Spinard at 480 294 6417 or email info at voiceamerica.com. Again, that's Jeff Spinard at 480-294-6417 or send us an email to info at voiceamerica.com. Voice America is where you are and where you want to be. Join us around the globe as we broadcast live from some of the most interesting events available. Don't forget to view all our live events, including on-demand access to past events that you may have missed by visiting voiceamerica.com forward slash live events.